Hello everyone, my name is Otávio Santana, I'm glad to be here and today let's talk about Interceptor and Decorator using CDI. Both are great, especially when you think about a good design on code and make it more readable, right? Uh, the first one that we're going to explore right now you be the decorator. Decorator is one way to uh, increment the behavior of the object if you don't change it. Think about the wrapper. A good sample of decorator or wrapper, wrapper is when we have a int value and then we do have the wrapper of integer that is the integer value, right? Or, as you can see, I have the value somewhere here. Let me check. Uh, not you, but you. So, we do have a, a class that drop uh, with some information. So, the integer is a simple one. But let's explore it a little bit. So let's create a domain, the worker class, right? So worker, let's create uh, a worker interface, worker interface. This worker does, does a job, right? So uh, string, uh, work and then a job and I will create my regular worker so uh, let's create a programmer here where it will implement my worker and I usual I have my converting copy into code yeah. at my case you be water coconut but I know I'm an exception don't worry about that I know that's a not a regular person coffee in code the job okay that's my programmer and let's inject this this worker right now so I have my worker worker my container select worker worker and then a single button what can go wrong with a single button right so I have the result oops the result job is And let's run. So I have my worker who is a programmer who will convert my coffee into code to do the single button job. But imagine right now I want to decorate this worker. So I want to do something else like I want to, to handle the, the job first and then delegate to somebody else. Uh, when you talk about worker one good, good way to think about uh, a programmer is the manager, right? So I will create my manager here to decorate the worker. So my manager, it will implement the worker. Uh, in this case, I will decorate somebody, right? So I have my worker, worker. I will inject this worker, but delegation. And I want any of the worker. And yes, I need to make sure, I need to say specifically that this class is a decorator. And I will define a PR priority here. So Jakarta annotation. Inter 
sector. Anyway, okay, inter. Okay, that's weird. So, interceptor priority application. Okay, just to to don't waste too much time here. It's basically okay. It's basically an inch value. So I'm just using here the constant one, but we are able to put whatever we want. So basically, what I'm doing right now is I have my worker. And let us create this mat this worker here. So a manager has received the job and it will delegate to our programmer. Worker, work and job. Right now I have my whopper. Uh, using the corrector. I will run the same class again and as you can see the result is a manager has received the job and delegated to a programmer and this time it will converting cough into code and then do the job that is a single button. As usual, we are able to decorate, to put a filter inside the manager. Maybe I put work here, but if you wish, you are able for, for example, create a decorator to IT workers and make sure that, okay, if it belongs to IT, take anyone. If it does not, don't do something. You are able to decorate, put behavior, do whatever you want. On this case here, it's simple to focus more in the power of the creator and you probably know right the design pattern so it won't be hard to hopefully to apply that and the whole point here is you are able to use and explore it easily with cdi okay the next one is interceptor is also a great way to put behavior in whatever you wish i will explain here a little bit more the main goal is not to go deep on the full details, but to show the power of uh, interceptor. So, for example, imagine right now that every time that I go on an exception and I have a connection, I will be able to do a rollback. So we are able to create an annotation, intercepted. It will check if something goes wrong. If something goes wrong, or through an exception, we are able to do a rollback on that connection or do a commit if everything goes well. So is that able to you to have this kind of power? Uh, one thing that I, I will explore here is a timer. So imagine right now we have the sample and we want to create supplier. So I will create my, uh, let me think, takes supplier. where I hope you have my string supplier using my text, okay? But imagine right now I have any kind of issue. So time unit of seconds, uh, Sleep two seconds. Don't do that in production, and I will just wait. So, right, so I will come here, I will inject my text supplier, supplier, container, select my text supplier. And on my supplier, I will do the get value. The value is value. And then I will use a cute. 
uh, this packet it will take two seconds and then uh, go for sure it's a simple simple but imagine right now that I have no idea where it took too much time so one thing that I able to do is to uh, create interceptor so this one here is more the classic one but you can do even more imagine that you want to log or audit some method or something you're able to create a, a, an audit annotation to explore the power of the interceptor so in this case here I will create a timer annotation and then a timer intercept interceptor so every time that everybody uses this annotation I will count the time and then log that information okay so I have my timed annotation I need to say to CDI, hey CDI, it's a interceptor annotation. So interceptor binding the target you be on this case in the method and also in the field, in the type and the rotation you be on the runtime. So I need to understand what's going on here. I put my timed. And yes, right now I need to do this. The next step is to create my implementation. So I will come here, create a class. I have my timed interceptor or whatever you want. Sometimes I forget to, put, to remove the public, but if you wish, there is no way to somebody outside the domain know about it so you're able to create a timer domain and just put as public the annotation anything else you are able to to hide okay what i'm gonna do here today is as i said private static final logger logger I will create for this class here and then I will timer timed this method here I will use the invocation context the context and then throw the exception and be happy with that so I will start start so I will take the my system point my seconds I have my result right so basically what I do what I do is take the result execute the method so context uh, proceed it will return something to me. I will take the end that basically the something here minus the start. Then I will create the message. Let me try to do something. Time to execute the class blah the method blah is off milli milliseconds okay so on this case I need to do the the context target the context get method and the end okay I will log this information I will put that on the message and then return my result what did I do here I take I took my context of this method that I will run here but think about any method then take the time then proceed take the, the return and then put that as a message uh, to make it possible, I need to say to CDI, hey CDI, I have this, ca this class here, so 
execute it around construct, invoke, timeout, or in this case here, I will use around invoke. And to define it to in the timed, it to be an interceptor and the priority again. So priority uh, interceptor. And here you go. Let execute again. This time with the timed annotation. Uh, and as you can see, that is my info. So the time to execute the class text supplier, the method, this one here, is 2001 milliseconds. So we're able to explore this timer in whatever you want. But again, it's more powerful than timer. So we're able to use on connection, something goes wrong. For example, here, I able to pull the try cat and then when something goes wrong, I able to to do a rollback or maybe open and execute the method and then close the connection. So you are able to explore this universe of Interceptor. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, the main goal here to explore both Decorator and Interceptor. Both are great to create a good design, uh, the Decorator to do a wrapper, to put behavior on the object if you don't change it. And with Interceptor, you are able to intercept some methods around Evoke, around Constructor, around Timeout to, to do something else, like the timer, like sample, or uh, let me think the connection where you are open, commit, and then close or do, do a rollback if something goes wrong. That's, for, that's all for today, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.